watching the stars can be such a beautiful thing. But there's nothing more beautiful than charity shop hunting. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're going to do some charity shop hunting and seeing what we can find. I really don't know what I'm going to get, but uh, come along for the ride with me and we will see. I had a request a while ago for putting in a narration instead of the music. So I am going to actually do a narration this time, um, which I think will work pretty well. But, you know, feel free to leave your thoughts down below. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next segment. But before you go... Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video if you do like the content I'm putting out. So yeah, I will see you in the next segment, guys. And we're off. We're going to start off with some sealed media, doing a bit of sealed media swipes. Uh, that's a little throwback to an earlier video I did. Um, but yeah, this is going to be fast-paced, this video, so please feel uh, free to keep up. If you can't keep up, then don't watch a video, simple as. Um, so yeah, right now I'm checking for some sealed media. I uh, send sealed media, brand new and sealed DVDs into Amazon. Uh, so that's what I'm doing with my hand, just checking all the seals, see if there's any actually brand new and sealed. We're now moving on to the coats. I don't do much clothing, but I thought I would have a look anyway. Uh, I know there's a couple of brands that I kind of look out for, so um, I always, you know, I always kind of have a look for these coats and stuff in the charity shops just to see if there's any of those brands. Uh, obviously clothing sellers you might be uh, seeing something I'm missing we've uh, moved on to the jeans right now so I'm looking for any kind of Levi's things like that um, I don't really as I say I don't do much clothing I don't have many brands that I look out for but it's silly not to have a look at least so yeah and I, I always feel comfortable with jeans I think they're quite easy to sell um, opposed to other items of clothing that I might might not be well versed in um, so yeah just having a look at the jeans right now and I think we're moving on to outside now. It's always worth checking charity shops outside um, because obviously there might be sale rails. In this case, we're looking at some shirts that are on sale at £2. Doesn't seem to be any brands that I can really see that are amazing. Uh, we've got some neck shirts, M&S shirts and stuff in there, but nothing that's really piqued my interest. So that's about it for the sale rail there. And we've, we've seen a wheelchair. We've spotted a wheelchair outside of a charity shop. Again, always worth looking in these bins outside charity shops shops is there anything i can see answers on a postcard please what's it gonna be what am i gonna focus in on oh it looks like the ink so you can see there eight quid original price but it's got a red x on so i did look through i did actually ask the woman to see what price they were and you can find that out at the end of the video so yeah i might have purchased them i might not so yeah, that's the ink. So we're moving on to another charity shop here. I'm just having a look at the toys and games. I used to be a big seller of board games, but obviously now the market isn't as good. So uh, yeah, but it's always worth having a quick look. Again, down here, I'm rooting through some bins. Again, it's always great to have a look through these bins in charity shops. You never know what you're going to find. Generally, things are going to be 25p, 50p, a pound. Um, so yeah, definitely have a look. Check, check in these bins. See what you can find because you never know. Always worth having a bit of a root. We're going on to the bricker crap here, as I like to call it. And now we've quickly cut towards one of the cabinets that is fairly high priced items. Also, the Lego you saw in that last clip very, very briefly at the top of the cabinet uh, was very, very uh, expensive and it's been in there for a while. Looks like I'm looking at a baseball mitt here or something that's a fiver, but that's a bit too much for me in a charity shop anyway, especially for that sort of item. Just having a look at the old bricker crap here, as I like to call it again. Um, but yeah, so I mean, not to say you can't find anything good in this sort of stuff, but you know, mainly it is bricker crap. Um, but yeah, anyway, so next. It looks like I've spotted something. I've spotted this, uh, well, this little bag or something here. I don't even know what's in it. There we go. A camera. Try not to break the whole shop, Adam. Um, but yeah, I, it looks like a, it's fallen over. It doesn't look like a, a, a brand that I've heard of. Um, but as you can see there, £10. So I'm not going to be a player at £10. Looks like we're on the road again here. Uh, going into cancer research. So we're just going to go and have a quick look in uh, the old cancer research here it's a shop that i don't mind going in uh prices are okay but i never really get anything major um so yeah as you can see mo mainly clothing in this shop so i'm not going to be a big player in here um i always have a quick look in this cabinet here just to see if there's anything exciting but there wasn't anything today uh, next, just moving on to the toys, games, that sort of stuff, puzzles, mainly uh, unsealed stuff, so I'm not really interested in this sort of stuff today. And then finally, I just thought I'd show you these cameras priced at £30 and £25 respectively. 
yeah, those cameras are just too high for me really, but if the charity shop wants to charge that sort of money, then they can feel free to do that. Um, so yeah, let me uh, go back and show you the haul. So guys, um, I'm back home now. I only actually got a few items, well, one item, well, it's four items, but it's one item. You'll know what I mean in a minute. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's actually good that I didn't get a lot of items because I can kind of show you the reality of what it's like going around the charity shops. I know my regular viewers will be well aware of this, but if you're watching this video for like entertainment purposes or you're looking to be a reseller, this is always good. It's always good to show the reality that you can go out with the best intentions, you can go out with the best laid plan, but sometimes you come home and you, you just don't pick up that much. And I went around 10 charity shops today and I only got, as I say, these few items, which I'm kind of classing all as one item. Anyway, I'll show you the, those now. So, basically, it was these inks. They were reduced from £8. They were down... Uh, they were outside in a little bin and I wasn't sure of the price as I mentioned um, and I went in and it actually seemed that they were 25p each so yeah I bought those, I bought four of those um, as I say they had like a little red X on so they were marked down um, but I couldn't quite believe it they were marked down from 8 quid to 25p I, I really wasn't expecting these to, to get marked down I'd seen them in the charity shop for shop quite a few weeks and I just thought I wouldn't be able to buy them because obviously they're too, too expensive but yeah, something, sometimes something like that happens and we get marked down. Anyway, I got four of them. I know there was a lot of more, a lot more inks there, but they were like just random colours. And unless it's like a better brand, I've never heard of this brand before. Unless it's like a better brand, I don't want to pick up just the single colour ones. So I ended up just going on the, like the black, uh, blue, uh, pink and yellow, you know, full pack of colours kind of thing. Or, you know, group pack of colours. Anyway... So, you know, you've got a little bit of a reality here of what it is like when you're going around the charity shops. It's not always, you know, I, I mean, I'd love to sit here and show you a massive big haul, but it just doesn't work like that sometimes, as you can see. So, I'll leave it there, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like. As I say, I wish I could have brought you a better haul, but, yeah, that's just how it goes. Um, and I will leave it there, guys. If you haven't already, please do subscribe as well.